Alright, top water here, all the way in Detroit, Detroit Rock City, checking out the Autorama. Got my man D Nice with me. Most people don't know, this guy's like a brother to me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Robert Wilson, Detroit, Michigan. This is my little toy. I've been working on it about 12 years now. It's an S10 with a 547 cubic inch small block in it. All fiberglass body. Well, ain't too much to tell. It's horsepower, horsepower. Oh, it's, it'll make about 2,500. 2,500? With the nitrous though. Man. Nice. Yeah. How many stages of nitrous? One. One? One. That's all you need, huh? Yeah, well, it's got 15 on motor. So, you know, if I put nitrous to it, it blow it right up, you know. <laughs> but I'm not the driver, I just build them. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got another guy to do the driving for me, but, uh, uh -huh. yeah, took me 50 years to get to here. Wow. Because, you know, we build all kinds of little cars, and mm -hmm. thank God I made it here, though, man. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. yeah. What year S10 is it? It's 02. 02? Yeah. Very nice. What kind of times are you on? Well, we're going 680 with it now, but I'm trying to get 200 and maybe 25 miles an hour out of it in four. Nice. Uh, hopefully, I can get it that fast. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Thank you, sir. Don't stop. Keep doing it. <laughs>
made you come up with this idea? I saw that. I do antique uh, cars and limos. I rent them out. That was my big thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're not renting as much. So I got into the newer cars, and then as years went by, I got out of it. And I saw the 2015 Corvette come out, and I said, that is the sharpest Corvette in years. I got to stretch that. <laughs> and then in 2016, at the end of the year, we bought the uh, year-end model in January 2017 and uh, took it out to California in March. We drove it for a couple of months because once you cut a car, the, vo the warranty is voided. You get no warranty on it. So we took it out there in March 2017. took them a year and a half to build it. Just picked it up in uh, July of, this, of 2018. So many months going back and forth out to California to do everything. Wasn't a uh, easy job. Lots of money. But the end results are worth it. She came out like I wanted it to. Yeah, thanks. 220. Quarter mil. Yep. Most expensive uh, limo in Michigan. How long did it take? A year and a half. He had never done one for This is the first time. A limo's ever been done out of a coach built. Guys have done it out of their garage, but never out of professional coach built. This is the Lindy Roadster. It's, it's a one-off car I built at home. It's totally home-built, and uh, it, I guess you could call it coach-built, like it says. But uh, I built it and designed it and built it for my wife. And like, if you see here, like the door openings are larger and what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, she had her left knee at the time I designed this replaced, and it was hard for her to get in, so I designed it into the body. But it's, uh, like I say, totally home built. It started with a blank piece of paper and uh, did some drawings and what have you, and there it is. So, uh, so what kind of vehicle is it? I call it the Lindy Roadster. Okay, so you it's know, to totally custom then. Yeah. Okay, so, nice. what did Ford call a Ford? A Ford. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so that's my last name, and, and uh, so I incorporated. I'm just glad it ain't Schwarzenowski or yeah. something. <laughs> so a, weird long name. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we, uh, we're from uh, Glendale, Arizona. I seen your videos in Phoenix. I was hoping to see you guys. You do put on a nice video. The interior is completely done with no sewing machine. You're looking at the seats, I see. Mm -hmm. But those are commercial bar stools <laughs> from Chicago. <laughs> so there's no no need for a sewing machine. Right. So, but the rest of it's all panels. I just wanted to do something simple. Mm -hmm. The whole car, if you look at it, it's really simple. And I didn't want to put a lot of stuff, bolt-on crap and you know what have you. Right. So just want to keep it nice and simple. And, uh, and that's hard to do sometimes. Simple, anyway. simple goes a long way. Oh boy. One of the big features on the car that catches a lot of people's attention is the fact that I'm using a 500 CFM 2 barrel and then I fabricated the air cleaner to look like tri-power. Right. And this engine was featured as the only engine on the website for a whole year for hot August nights. Out of 6,000 cars they chose this engine uh, and, and played it for the whole year. Mm -hmm. So you can see.
we are done. The show, as always, was a good show. Very nice turnout. Seeing the grade eight. Gotta wait and see who gets the uh, Riddler Award. But for now, we're going down the highway, headed back home. To big Ohio. So until next time, peace. Hello. Oh, she's gonna get, gonna get some, some, some.